Hey guys, I'm back. Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I'm back with another new video. Today's video is all about create a clipping feature in your arc map using Python scripting. Basically, we use this clipping tool uh, to cut out one feature class using another one as a cookie cutter. It's, it's a very handy and very useful tool when it particularly comes to create a new feature class that you desire for or you are assigned to work with. And eventually, it's going to be your either area of interest, that means AOI, or your study area. So without further delay, let's just jump into our tutorial. Okay. So as usual, uh, let me just show you where I'm working right now and which platform I'll be using for this tutorial purpose. This is ArcMap, and I have with me two shapefile, Dhaka Divisional shapefile, and the Water Body, that means River and Sea shapefile, running through the whole country called Bangladesh. So, <clears throat> the final objective of this tu tutorial, I would say, to extract a, a new feature, uh, a new feature class or output feature class or shapefile that will include both the area of Dhaka division as well as uh, the rivers only running through it. Okay, so one thing I want to draw your attention that before, uh, I mean, uh, uh, completing the clipping process, uh, how does this uh, file looks like? Okay, I just get rid of, this is only the area. Here, there is no water body going through it but once it's done with clipping process it will be showing in it uh, the reverse uh, sea or the water body as well so i will show you at the end of this video so first of all uh, wha wha what you need to do basically it's a three-step process to complete the whole uh, I mean a clipping uh, process using uh, Python scripting. The first step is just to uh, I mean drag your Python window and you need to uh, Import your arc by module second is just to uh, Set up or assign some local variables and final um, but uh, it's very important to call uh, the uh, function uh, clip analysis function under ArcPy module. So this is all about three step process. I will show you bit by bit sequentially. So first of all import Okay, write import and ArcPy module. Okay, finally step is done second step starts you have to assign some local variables. So what are those local variables here? There are three local variables that I'm going to assign. So first one is the Dhaka division that I'm going to use as my input feature. And the second one is the river C. It's going to use as a clip feature, the second, I mean, local variable. And third one is the output feature. That means the location, the directory that you want to put it. Or I mean the output file. So let's just start it assigning our local variable. The first one is import feature. So let me just type input F E A feature as its string value and a variable. So it demands using an equal sign. So I'll be using that one equal sign and hacker division that's let me just drag it and look at this it's automatically put in inverted comma so the second variable local variable is our river c that will be assigned as click feature feature it also needs another equal sign so i have put that one and drag this one as well here 
so our second local variable is done we are left only one local variable and that is output feature output feature okay so our final local variable is basically the uh, pathway i mean directory where we want to put or deposit our output file so it's not anything but a pathway or directory so uh, let me just walk you through the pathway where i would like to deposit so this is the educational file and after that tutorial materials and final tutorial output where i would like to put my uh, output feature class so just click there and it will be automatically be shrunken and control c it's copied and get back to your working place and uh, one thing another it needs another equal sign and control p has it okay it's now here so there is one thing that we should not forget it that is the backward slash slash it's needed to be replaced with forward slash as the convention that i have already discussed in my previous video in buffer analysis using python scripting so i am going to use forward slash removing backward slash and here the last one here basically i just need to name the output feature class so as this is the target division and river so our output file let's just start with taka underscore river as its clip so let me just put a sign of clip in clip okay so that we can easily identify this is the output file that we have got after uh, this process so one thing is left that is to uh, 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 I mean put all this in an inverted comma so start inverted comma and in here so our second step is also done now we are proceeding to do our last but very important step that is calling upon or inviting the a function call clip analysis under arcpy module so let me just type arcpy module dot clip analysis when you just type the three letters of the function it automatically will be i um, mean popped up so click double click here and insert a first bucket and put all these three local variables uh, sequentially so first one is input feature input feature comma okay it's kind of buffering i don't know why mm, my computer is getting okay so the second one is second local variable is clipping clip feature separated using a comma and last one is output feature okay all three are dragged in first bracket close the first bracket and we are almost done just one step away get the result and that is to press your enter button to run the code so i have done this 
okay so we have been handed over our result uh, look at this this is the final output file Dhaka River clip shape file this is a file which not only include uh, Dhaka divisional area but also includes uh, the river uh, running through it so this is the difference between this a final shape file and this one if I just I mean unselect it okay uh, did uh, this file was the I mean previous one I mean uh, before our work and after our work we have got this one here both we have the uh, divisional area of Taka as well as uh, some rivers that only uh, flow through it. So this is how we can crack this problem very quickly using some Python script such as. So I would highly recommend you guys to use Python scripting instead of just clicking. Use your brain just done be entirely a machine dependent so that's all for the time being i hope you have liked my video so if you had please do subscribe to my channel i will come up with another new video till then bye bye